We're super excited to be here today because we're getting to present to you the new software for BSL Moment. It's been a rewrite of the, of the interface software here in Denmark. I'm going to show you the changes we've made, some of the bigger changes, and some of the improvements we've made. So, it's, it's going to open now. The first thing you'll notice is most of the concept is the same, but the way we've laid it out is a bit different. You can see I'm at the bottom here. I'm, you know, I've got the now playing screen, the collection, and then search here at the top, because search is now a primary screen. So in other words, there's four main screens now, rather than three before. So the focus has been on improving the search and improving the collection area for people that have good collections, that people are really enjoying playlists. So we've made that a lot easier now to find playlists from the music service and add them to your collection. So for example, I'm going to search here now for a moment in time, I'm gonna search for dinner. And then very quickly, I get a lot of playlists that people have brought together, they're curated, that are great for dinner. And I can tap any one of those to start that dinner music playing. Or I can just tap the heart and I add it to my own collection where it appears under playlists. This search function in playlists is also great for exploring genres. Tap jazz, for example. And then, of course, search is used for many, many things. I'm going to add a, I'm going to search for an artist here. I've got all their albums. Albums in the search is now horizontal, so it's the same as the rest of BSM Moment. Got all their tracks, and of course the artist. Now if I heart the artist, as I've done here, what that does now, this is new, is it actually adds the entire collection from that artist. Previously, when you went into an artist, their albums, all the albums opened automatically, and now we've created an index screen, so you can really quickly see all the albums of that artist. But while I'm here, I'll also like to show you through the rest of the interface. On this screen here, we've got the five tabs at the top. This tab here called Link, this shows the other Bang & Awesome products you've got playing in your uh, home. And with a tap on one of those products, you'll join in and you'll be able to hear the same music that's playing on that other product. The Playlist tab has all those playlists that you've favorited. The radio has all your broadcast radio stations from TuneIn and all the curated radio stations from Deezer. The collection, you spend a lot of time there, has your albums sorted by artist and then the Discover tab has curated selections of music that are constantly refreshed and come from Deezer. I would like to show you how to change the name of the server. Take the lid off, go to the settings area, go to the content screen, and then under DLNA, it says change DLNA label. By default, this option is, is off, and the default label will be called local, but you can switch to on, and then you can name it anything, anything you like. You can read any of the notifications that's come onto the user interface here in this area here called notifications and it shows you the status of the product right now and any messages that have uh, appeared on the screen. We put a lot of work in this piece to have it feeling much much more responsive and we've done that it literally is more responsive but it also giving you the feeling of responsiveness in the way we've done the, the glow from the volume wheel where it interacts with the touch wheel. So now, the instant you touch the wheel, you get this response. It just feels so much more responsive. Another thing is the animation itself is much smoother and it's just a more luxurious experience now. The Mood Wheel experience is, is like you remember it, just with one nice <laughs> little change. And that's that now you can, when you swipe accidentally on the move wheel itself to move to another screen, it no longer suddenly starts playing. A small detail, but it's a, it's a big improvement in the daily experience. We've been doing this to improve the software, to give people a more 
enjoyable, fast, reliable, no musical experience. 